Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have been meaning to do this video for ages um, because I feel like it might be helpful to a lot of people. Um, I know I would look at hundreds of these videos when I first started up my channel and when I started filming particularly Instagram videos and stuff like that because I really wanted to up my game, make sure my lighting was good, all the equipment that I had was the best um, that I could kind of afford at the time. Um, so today I'm going to go through all of my equipment, my setup, I'm going to show you around what's around me right now, how I get the lighting, what camera I've got, all of that shit. So if you want to see my setup and my equipment and everything, make sure to just keep watching. So I feel like we might as well start off with the camera, which is what I'm filming on right now. I will show you on my phone as well some clips of how it's set up um, right in front of me, because obviously I can't do it right now because it's what I'm filming on. But I have the Canon EOS 750D. It's a DSLR camera. Um, it was a bit of an investment, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I got mine second hand, so it wasn't so bad. And actually, I've had it for about five, five or six years, I think. Um, at this point, I think maybe more like five. Um, and it's lasting me really well. It takes such good quality photos, good quality videos. You can obviously just use your iPhone. A lot of people on Instagram these days and even on YouTube just film on their iPhone because their cameras keep getting better and better. And obviously you probably already have one so it's of no extra expense. It's just if you want to take your videos to the next level I really recommend getting a DSLR camera. And I did for ages use the lens that it came with but I upgraded, I'd say maybe like a year ago. Um, now lenses are extremely expensive, like extortionate prices, so you definitely don't have to do it, but I don't know, if you want it, if someone wants to get you a really extravagant gift, maybe you can ask for one. The one that I use is the 50mm Sigma uh, F1.4 DG. I mean, I don't even know what this means, quite honestly, but... Um, that's what the lens is, it's obviously for Canon DSLR cameras. Um, it doesn't uh, have a zoom, that's my only critique of this one. I probably should get one that has a zoom function as well, just so I could maybe do close-ups of my eye makeup and things like that. Um, but if you don't need any zoom or anything, this is such a good lens. The quality is pretty darn good. And obviously you can play around with the settings on your camera as well, um, just to kind of get the lighting and everything right. I am by no means an expert when it comes to cameras. I just watched so many YouTube videos. Maybe I'll try and find some of the YouTube videos that I watched on how to kind of set your camera up and things because for ages, I would just use the settings that were already put into the camera and didn't realise that you could change up your lighting and stuff literally just by using the camera so you don't even need to go and get really expensive lights or anything like that. You can try and use as much natural light as you can. So I'll see if I can find a few of those and pop them in the bottom bar as well. Now I guess the next uh, really important part is lighting. If you can find natural light, that is the best, but unfortunately here in the UK it's very up and down. Even on a sunny day, generally you'll get clouds and stuff and it would just... I don't know, your lighting will go in and out and it's just a nightmare. So I prefer to just have studio lighting set up because it's just so much easier. Um, and I've gone through so many types of lighting to try and kind of find the right one. And I feel like at the moment, I'm really, really happy with what I've got. Um, so to start off with, I have, well, here, I don't know, you won't be able to see it, but I will show you our film on my iPhone anyway. Um, I have two softbox lights. I just got them from Amazon. You can find so many softbox lights. I started off with probably about four of them. I'd have like two um, hitting the background and then I'd have two kind of hitting from the side because you basically just want light hitting you all the way around because sometimes I found if I just had light hitting me from the front, the background would look really dark and then, I don't know, the video quality just didn't look as good. If you notice on Instagram, a lot of the time people have very, very white backgrounds and I really wanted to try and recreate that. So I have my two softboxes here, but they are the only softboxes I now own and they just kind of sit there um, at all times. I'll just obviously switch them off when I'm not filming. Then right here in front of me on my desk, I have two kind of Hollywood lights. Oh, they are from what's it lamps for makeup is what they're called but I will obviously find the link and um, pop that in the bottom bar but they are quite intense so 
It does take a bit of adjustment to get used to the amount of lighting um, that is hitting your face, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I do have um, a window to my right here as well, so it just gives that extra little bit of natural light. So I always open the curtains up really wide to try and get as much natural light in as possible. Um, but these Hollywood lights are really nice because they give a bit more warmth because the other lights that I have are LED lights and they um, show a little bit more cool tone. And I, I kind of want to make sure there's a little bit of warmth just to show... Um, the colours of my makeup and just try and, I don't know, make it look a little bit more natural and not so studio. And the other light, which I got really recently actually, and I absolutely love it, I watched um, Carly Bible's video on uh, her setup, and this is actually the only light that she uses. I don't know how she gets like the amount of light to her background and everything with just this light because for me in my room it just doesn't work um, but in combination with everything else it gives the most amazing light and this is a very natural probably leaning more on the cool tone side but matched with the Hollywood lights that I have it works really well so I don't even want to butcher the name of it but it's the it's this this right here the young young uh, I don't want I just don't want to say it it's this digital light, it's the YN303 Pro LED video light. I'll put the link in anyway. Pretty sure I just got mine off Amazon. I get most of my lighting well, and equipment generally off Amazon. You can even buy secondhand stuff on Amazon, so you can have a look and see if anyone's got any secondhand lights. Um, and then, oh, I also do have a tripod. I've had this tripod for years. Literally, when I first bought the camera is when I first bought the tripod. Again, I just got it off Amazon. I can't remember how much it was, but I don't think it was that expensive. Um, and I only have one tripod because the light that I just showed you sits on top of the camera, so I didn't need to buy an extra tripod. You can obviously buy an extra one if you want to, but for me, I'm trying to save space in my room. It got to a point where I had so many different soft boxes and lights and stuff, it was a bloody nightmare in my room. I do also have one other light, um, which I did use to add into this setup before I bought that one um, above the camera, um, and it is the Classic Elite 2 from Glamcore. So Glamcore are really popular with makeup artists and freelance beauty therapists and stuff. A lot of people use them for when they do lashes and things like that. I absolutely love that. So if I'm on a day where I'm not actually filming in front of the camera, but I want a really nice light to take a picture with like my iPhone or something, um, I will get that light out and use that rather than... Um, maybe like a ring light, I used to have a ring light and that's what I'd use that for, but this is kind of an upgrade from that. Again, ring lights are amazing and you can get those off Amazon for pretty cheap. The Glamcore lights are really expensive, so again, definitely not necessary, but I just really, I can't help myself. It's just, I feel like it's one of those things when once you get into this kind of thing, you kind of want to upgrade and try new things and you're watching the YouTube videos and then you want to buy exactly what everyone else has got and it takes a bit of time to find the setup that you like personally but, but my recommendation is just to start off small and then build up from there so those are the kind of main pieces of equipment but now I want to show you more on the accessories side um, now I can't obviously lift this up because I have it right in front of me but I have a fold away table which I use as my desk obviously a lot of people have kind of built-in desks and that's what they use but the way that my room is set up I have a dressing table behind me which is what is kind of my backdrop so I just needed like a small little desk where I could put all my makeup on and everything and obviously use it as we are going along um, so I got this oh, I can't even remember where I got it from I think it was again Amazon I will try and find one and link it but I mean you can get one literally from anywhere any um, that's why you could even get like an outdoor fold away table do you know what I mean you could find anything now because this lens does make noises I really apologize if uh, in this video you've heard any of the clicking and um, just when it focuses it makes a clicking noise which does come through in the audio so I bought this um, which is an external microphone. You can find so many different external mics. Some are really expensive, some are really affordable. I went uh, down the more affordable route. Now I've had this for so long that I can't remember the exact name of it, but I will find it online and obviously link it. Um, I'll, li I'll link absolutely everything in the bottom bar. Um, now the cable is really long, a bit unnecessary to be this long to be honest, but you literally plug this into your camera. There's a little bit that you plug it into on the side and then you need to make sure that you actually turn it on because believe it or not, I have been that stupid and uh, filmed a whole video without turning the microphone on and that was super annoying because then it doesn't pick up any audio whatsoever great times for me um so i just sit that kind of on my desk and it will pick up the audio um closest to it so just make sure that if you've got your window open um and there's a noise outside that you're mindful because these are really good at picking up kind of any noise around you 
So that's microphone number one. Microphone number two is for voiceovers. So if you're not doing voiceovers in your videos, you don't need to worry about this. Or again, if you're only doing voiceovers, this is the kind of thing that you'll need. This is the Snowball, isn't it? Snowball Ice Blue Microphone. And it looks a little something like this. I feel like this was, oh, it was really popular a couple years ago. I've had it for a few years now. Um, and I probably just found a recommendation again from YouTube because that's what I spend my life doing. Um, so this is incredible. You literally just plug it into your Mac or your laptop or whatever. Um, and it has the little legs out. You just sit it down and then you're able just to record a voiceover over your footage. So it's super, super easy. And I think the sound quality is pretty good. It's probably not as loud as it could be, but I mean, you can get up close and personal and it's all good. So that is the other microphone. So that's all I have on the microphone front. I might one day upgrade to an even better microphone, but I feel like for right now, that suits me really well. I have this actually, this is really great if you're gonna film on your iPhone. It's basically a tripod for your iPhone and these legs are bendy. So you can kind of put it in any position that you want. Um, I think this is great for filming TikToks and stuff if you've <laughs> got on that bandwagon, unfortunately I have. Um, or even just hands-free makeup tutorials and stuff. I find this really useful. Um, I've started filming a lot more on my iPhone. I find that if you use the back camera, um, the quality is so much better than the front camera. So I really recommend if you can kind of, what I tend to do is I'll pop it in here and I'll set it obviously so I can't actually see anything, but then I'll put a mirror in front um, so you can kind of see what you're doing and what's going on and you get such, um, such better quality than if you were to use the front camera. So that's a really good way to um, save a bit of money, film some videos, or if you like to do both, it's just a good addition to have. I mean, it's plugged in right now, so I can't actually show you, but there is a cable that I have that runs from my camera. I'm pretty sure this came with the camera. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure. And it runs into my laptop, so Let's see if I can show you. So I'm actually able to use my Mac as my monitor. So if I just turn it around and show you what I can see. So obviously here I can kind of play and pause and I can even take off the focus face detection if I want to, not sure why I would want to do that, but you can play around with settings and things on here. Um, but it's really easy for me just to be able to see what I'm doing, make sure that I'm in focus because I do have the flip out screen on the camera but sometimes it's a little bit far away and I might have filmed something completely out of focus and had no idea so it's really nice to have a monitor just right here um, and it's handy because you don't have to go out and buy an extra screen or anything you can just use your laptop and it's super easy and you can actually just download your footage straight onto the laptop after you finish filming which is super handy same with your photos as well so after this I will um, switch up the camera to just taking photos. Again, I can have a look on this screen and use it as a monitor. I can see exactly what angle I need to be at and all of that, you know, gotta make sure you've got your right angles. And then I have the little remote for the camera. All I've got to do is go into, go into place. Boom, I'm just taking a picture. Don't know if you could tell. Um, so it just makes it super, super easy to get all of your footage and again once you come off it will download straight onto your laptop so there's no need to like transfer or anything like that so that's pretty much it for my setup and everything and all the equipment and accessories that I use for filming uh, if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments below I will link absolutely everything um, in the bottom bar below I also try and find a couple YouTube tutorials that I found really helpful because I'm by no means an expert on this stuff it's all about trial and error I've really tried a lot of lights I've tried different um, equipment I've tried different lenses I haven't tried different cameras because I'm actually really happy with this camera thank god um but again you don't need to use all of this stuff you don't even need to use half of this stuff to be honest you can film on your iphone get some really good natural light and people have done absolutely incredible um instagram feeds just from that so you definitely don't need it but if you want to upgrade then i hope this video was helpful if it was please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i would really appreciate it um this is obviously different from the usual programming so i'll be back to doing a makeup tutorial very soon um but apart from that i hope you guys have a great week stay safe and i'll see you in the next one bye